The whir of flatbed knitting machines, spooling and threading like clockwork. It's an army of machinery, clad in gray and lined up on the factory floor for Industry 4.0, this age of automation. And today, they're hard at work producing undergarments, but not your run-of-the-mill panties or briefs. These underwear are made to serve a greater purpose. I just have this belief that being connected to your loved ones is part of our health. Tony Chaheen is the founder and CEO of Mayant, a Toronto-based company started in 2010, which calls its line of business textile computing. In other words, they're producing smart underwear. Could you tell me about the technology in your garment? How does this technology work? Essentially, skin has sensors and actuators embedded at the yarn level. Essentially, it will transmit data from your body to a, uh, an app. Tony, we have smartphones, we have smart watches. Why focus on smart underwear? We found textile, A, covering the entire body, continuously transmitting data is the best option, especially for someone who's marginalized, someone who cannot see, someone who's not technology expert. Designed with the needs of the elderly in mind, Chaheen was inspired to create the wearable tech after seeing his own father struggle with dementia. You know, people with dementia have difficulty learning new habits and difficulty using technology. And so I wanted to stay connected with my dad, but, but I, he couldn't do a FaceTime. He couldn't text. He couldn't pick up the phone and call me. So, you know, I just wanted to find a way to stay connected. So I, I started thinking about, uh, about textile to uh, connect my dad with the digital world. Now I'm measuring uh, the live ECG, so we can see it's live stream. The, while she's wearing the bra, we can see the ECG and then we export this data to analyze the whole ECG. By hiding haptic sensors in everyday clothing, Mayant hopes to provide continuous biometric data to its users and their loved ones. The tech is currently able to collect a broad range of data like the user's heart rate, sleep quality, physical activity, and body temperature. With an open beta launched in 2021, Mayant relied on the expertise and collaboration of engineers, data scientists, and fashion designers to create skin. Obviously, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. Many families all over the world separated by countries, by continents. How do you think your technology could draw us closer together? The way I see it around the world, we all have those needs. Every family has those needs to stay connected with their loved ones. And the idea is you want to make sure that connection is continuous, is passive, and it's available to all demographic. And that is so important. What excites me most about the future of wearable devices is their potential to allow people to have more control over their health and detect diseases earlier, live longer, more healthy lives. Shaheen says he hopes that providing holistic, physiological data can help users more intimately monitor their health, as well as detect and reduce the severity of chronic conditions. So when you're wondering, is she in pain? Is he sleeping soundly? You can use the technology and immediately find out. I used to refer to my grandmother that she was a version of AI today. She was able to detect all sorts of patterns uh, simply by me walking into her house. She was able to see if I'm sad or I'm happy or I didn't sleep well or maybe I'm about to get a flu. And she was able to detect all of this. So the future of connectedness that we are enabling is very similar.